Welcome to another video where a zombies YouTuber ranks things to do with zombies that no one really asked for. But without further ado, the worst perk to ever grace COD Zombies is that's right, Tombstone. Now I feel like you could put either Tombstone or Who's Who in the worst spot, but for me Tombstone deserves it. Having a perk that is all about reclaiming your loadout once you die sounds incredible in theory. However, in practice, it is quite literally the opposite. The drop that remains once you die lasts for 90 seconds, which in theory is a lot of time. However, the perk is only available on transit. That map is the size of the moon. It's massive. And if you're unlucky enough to spawn halfway across the map, you're never getting your loadout back. It is lost forever. That perk sucks. Don't ever buy it. Why would you? It's literally the worst thing to ever grace COD Zombies. The second worst perk is who's who. Acting almost like a quick revive, but instead of automatically being revived once downing, you're put into this like astral projection, which the game calls doppelganger, and you have to manually revive yourself. If done so, you keep your loadout. If not, you stay as the doppelganger whilst only being left with a starter pistol. The 28th worst perk in Call of Duty Zombies is Death Perception. Now, I never used the BO4 version of this perk, but if it's in any way the same as the Cold War version, then it's literally just a useless perk that allows you to see zombies through walls. Plus, the Cold War version does give you a 10% increase in salvage, but it's literally like nothing. Coming in at 27th, we have Blaze Phase. I actually had to Google what this perk does, and apparently when crouched, it basically turns you into a knockoff human torch. 26th, we have Secret Source from Black Ops 4. Once purchased, this perk gives you a random perk that wasn't originally selected when going into the game. I know, it's pretty useless as well. In at 25th is Zombshell. This is another perk that on paper sounds great, but in practice just sucks. Killing zombies has a small chance to spawn an orb that will slow zombies and any damage dealt to zombies will then be increased. The real kicker is this perk has diminishing returns. The more it activates, the longer it takes to cool down. Like why? 24th, we have the OG Deadshot. Now, if you're on controller, this perk is the tits. Basically giving you free aimbot for zombies is when you aim it auto locks onto the zombies' heads. Sounds great, right? However, if you're on literally any other input, it doesn't work. It's literally useless. It does not work. It only works on controller. At 23rd, we have Double Tap 1.0, the first version of Double Tap, not to be mistaken with 2.0. The first version uh, quite literally just doubles your fire rate. That, that's that's it. 22nd is Time Slip. Once again, another pretty redundant perk coming from Black Ops 4. This basically just makes the mystery box and the pack punch work faster, I guess. However, if you do use a modifier with this perk, it can also speed up the recharge rate for your special ability. 21st and possibly bit of a controversial one, we have PhD Flopper, the original from Black Ops 1. Now, not taking any explosive damage is great. However, the main ability for this perk is to create explosions whenever you dolphin dive. And considering dolphin diving, in zombies at least, is a literal death trap, it's not worth using. But the saving grace is Mustang and Sally is actually now viable and you won't blow yourself up. Breaking into the top 20, we have Mule Kick. Now I know a lot of people like Mule Kick and the idea of this perk is good. Having three weapons is a nice touch. However, when you're cycling through your inventory for 30 seconds, looking for the correct gun you want to use, it does become a bit of a pain in the ass. And I have died to this perk so many more times than I think I've been saved by it. In 19th, we see Blood Wolf Bite. Deal enough damage in a quick enough time and your own personal guard dog called Luna will spawn. Luna will follow you around for about a minute and kill zombies for you. If the modifier is active for this perk, Luna will have a chance to drop small amounts of points, ammo, and a little bit of charge for your special weapon. In 18th is PhD Slider, the Black Ops 4 version. This time around, PhD is... Pretty much the same, to be honest. However, this time the perk is activated by sliding, which is infinitely better for zombies than what diving ever was. 17th is Ethereal Razor. Quick side note, I fully believe this is the perk that inspired the Chris Lacks Wonder Weapon from Forsaken. And the perk itself basically just gives you double tap, but for your melee, as a lunge attack deals bonus damage and offhand attacks can hit multiple enemies at once. In its 16th is Vulture Aid. Honestly, if this perk was on more maps, 
it would by far be in my top 10. Full trade itself does a few things. First being zombies have a chance to drop points and ammo once killed. It also allows the player to see icons of all items around the map, such as perks, wall buyers, and the box. Lastly, it also creates a gas cloud that once you step inside, you're completely invisible to zombies for a short period of time. Stone Cold Stronghold, or as I like to call it, the Steve Austin perk, comes in at 15th. Once activated, players can stand still and it will form a small circle around you. The modified boost damage even more for any zombies that enter the circle, as well as giving bonus armor for killing enemies within the circle. For the third and final time, we have PhD making the list, but this time it comes in at place number 14. PhD Slider from Cold War is, in my opinion, the best version. Once again, the perk mainly protects you from any explosive damage. However, this time the slide has greatly increased speed, and sliding into enemies causes an explosion that will kill any zombies in direct contact. Also, this perk sets off an explosion when jumping from tall heights. The level of explosion increases depending on the distance fallen. In at 13th, we see Victorious Tortoise. That's a mouthful. When holding the shield, it blocks all damage coming in from all directions. Once the shield breaks, it does cause a defensive explosion. Twelfth is Wintered Whale. This is essentially Widow's Wine's B-Tech cousin. Being hit causes a frost explosion that freezes and slows zombies. However, you do only get two charges. With the modifier, you do get three charges, as well as a frost ring that activates whenever you get hit that slows zombies when they get too close. Electric Cherry comes in 11th, just missing out on the top 10. This is a very, very good defensive perk that causes an electric outburst whenever you reload your weapon. The radius of the electric burst depends on how many bullets are left in the magazine when you reload. The fewer the bullets, the bigger the radius. Into the top 10, and we have Bandolier Bandit. This perk literally just gives you bonus ammo. However, considering how many bullets it takes to kill zombies in the higher rounds of Black Ops 4, this surprisingly becomes a very good perk. In it ninth, we have one of the OGs in Speed Caller. Increased reload speed is always a must within zombies, and this perk does that perfectly. And it definitely deserves its place within the top 10. Eighth is Quick Revive. Uh, I feel like a bit of a cop-out putting uh, Quick Revive so high up, but it's literally one of the best perks in the game. Quick Revive and later titles such as Black Ops 4 and Cold War also does give a boost to health regen. Seventh is Dying Wish. This perk basically replaced Quick Revive in Black Ops 4. Upon downing, Dying Wish actually puts you into a Berserk mode that lasts for, I believe, around 10 seconds. In this mode, you can't receive any damage at all. Once exiting Berserk mode, you are left in 1 HP. You will now have to wait before being able to use Dying Wish again, uh, so don't go down because you will actually go down and you will die this time. In sixth is what I believe to be one of the most underrated perks within Zombies, and that's Elemental Pop. I've hardly seen anyone talk about how good this perk is since it actually came out in Cold War. Once acquired, every bullet that is fired that hits a zombie has a chance of activating an ammo mod. Bear in mind, it is only the base version of an ammo mod, but it's still an ammo mod nonetheless. Once fully upgraded, however, Elemental Pop also gives you Electric Cherry, which I think is pretty dope. In it, fifth is Double Tap 2.0. Double damage is always going to be essential for any Zombies player, which is why I've placed it so high on the list. Double Tap 2.0 also increases your fire rate, as well as every bullet fired is now doubled, basically firing two bullets for the price of one. Now, this next one is, uh, is going to rustle quite a few feathers, but coming in at fourth, not even in the top three, is Jug. Now look, bonus health is always great. But is it really the best perk out there? Like, is it really the best of the best out there? Yeah, that's that's what I thought too. We are finally into the top three, and coming in at third is none other than Cold War Deadshot. Now look, I know, Deadshot, the OG version, it sucks. But Cold War Deadshot, to me, is at least one of the best perks in that game. Double crit damage to zombies that are full health. Increased crit damage for consecutive hits. Increased hip fire. And if you're on control, you get literal aimbot. Like, what is not to love? How can you not love this perk? It's by far and above one of the best perks Zombies has ever seen for damage dealing. It's so good. Now, <laughs> if you know me, you know that there is one perk that I have come to love over the last year. It's my go-to in almost every Zombies game I play, especially on Cold War, and that is Stamina. Yes, I know, Stamina, it's my number two. I was once also a hater of this perk, but I... But I grew up. I learned the ways of stamina up, okay? And in Cold War, it is by far and above, for me at least, the best perk in the game. You get increased walk speed, increased aim speed in all directions. You have unlimited sprints, and not to mention, you are literally the speed of a NASCAR when sprinting. I love it, it's a great perk, and I will fight anyone and everyone who disagrees. Lastly, 
the best perk to ever grace Call of Duty Zombies. And if you've been keeping track, you already know what it is, and it's Widow's Wine. This perk should be in everyone's loadout at all times. Bonus melee damage that can slow enemies. It replaces your standard grenades with sticky grenades that once explode, slow and damage zombies over time. Not to mention, if you have grenades in your inventory and you get hit, it acts as a defensive explosion that slows and damages zombies. It's great. You can't go wrong with this perk. I love it. You should love it. If you've never used it, change that. It's by far and above the best perk to ever grace COD Zombies. Once again, thank you for watching. Drop a sub if you haven't already. Drop a like. And uh, let me know in the comments why I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong because it's, I'm literally right. It's my list. I, I can't be wrong. I, I'm the only right person in this in this situation i'm right you're wrong deal with it stamina's incredible cry about it <laughs> i love that perk it's so good